What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to ZOM100 uh, Bucket List of the Dead, this time of episode 2. Looking forward to today's episode, first episode was an absolute smash hit, which I wasn't expecting actually. Um, you guys know I love my horror and I obviously love the first episode, but I'm again slightly surprised by the, the general kind of um, uproar and uh, support of this series and I'm, I'm gladly surprised to be honest with you. Um, have heard that they did outsource this um this episode i was thinking it would be hard to keep up with the quality uh, of animation especially last episode it was absolutely beautiful wasn't it but hopefully it won't be too kind of big a downgrade i've actually seen that a few times already this season uh, a few anime having a really kind of cool and beautiful looking first episode while not kind of uh, continuing that on but hopefully we'll have a, a bit of a different case here uh, let me know what you guys think of this episode though down in the comment section make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions let's get right into the video guys as you guys know i'm not just here for the animation or anything i'm much more here for like the horror the horror elements although the most horrific thing that happened last uh last week was this guy and his mistress wasn't it How awful is that? <laughs> I mean, it's awful enough you dream of, of your kind of co worker slash boss, let alone uh, in a situation like that. So, yeah, we ended up actually getting the bucket of this last episode. So, excited to see what, what we can kind of cross off there. You know what presumptuous thinking that you'll th that you'll be alive for three years <laughs> i mean the hardest thing about a zombie apocalypse isn't like the initial surviving it i don't think although that's hard enough don't get me wrong in a real situation i thought about it and it, it is super difficult but even if you're able to kind of survive wow really cool artwork but um, yeah, the hardest thing would be to to not switch off. You could go a year with uh, kind of dealing with it, and then just sleep in the wrong place one night, not hear or pick up on something, and then just get bitten. Yeah, okay, it depends what kind of zombies these are. In most cases, just like a scratch or something will turn you. So I imagine that's probably the same here. And that was one big bastard. A sumo wrestler. Got a little chef as well. Okay, one of my favourite zombies ever is definitely Tar Man. I brought up uh, Return of the Living Dead last last week, but one of my absolute favourite zombie movies. Dawn of the Dead, the original and the remake. I, I like the remake as well, to be honest with you. But um, the original, really awesome. Am I remembering right? Because it's been a while. But is that that is that is the one with the the helicopter kind of <laughs> ordeal, right? I say ordeal. Um, it was actually quite helpful the helicopter. I say no spoilers, but it's been out for like fifty years. Yeah, there's a really cool scene of a, a chopper and a zombie kind of coming towards um come towards the humans. Like I said last week, I'm hoping there might be some references or something to some big zombie movies throughout this. I hate this. <laughs> Go. I don't hate this in the anime, but I hate the fact that people, workers like this, have to rely on like alcohol and it is a drug at the end of the day and, and stuff like this to take them away from their work and 
take away their feeding and such. It's just amazing how uh, how easy you can normalize one drug via alcohol and make it so kind of world renowned and such, and then other stuff you can uh, just say is evil. Why is there still broadcasts? To be honest. And we're out. Do you know what? It really hasn't taken a big fall or anything. It looks pretty damn similar, if anything, so. Doesn't look like there's a big animation downgrade at all. I feel like the Sakuga slash animation community gets a bit over overworked with stuff like this to be honest with you <laughs> making a big deal out of any little change or anything to be honest with you any split second frame like, really annoying people there is a fair few survivors still it hasn't been too long, so there was bound to be, but it's nice to see. Get to the, well, yeah, get to the roof is my, uh, my advice. Although once you're at the roof, there's hardly anywhere to go, so it's not the best place ever, but better than going down to the ground level, I imagine. Well, you say that, you guys are just having a panic attack. It's nice that he's kind of calmed the situation down here a little. So, uh, so the, I was going to say, that we saw last episode a lot of runners. There's a fair few runners here, but there's a lot of walkers as well. Again, big difference between the two, so. One's obviously a lot scarier than the other. Although I like, I like the kind of scariness of the walkers as well. The, the kind of doesn't, it, it's almost like, but like Jason or something from um, Friday the 13th. It's like, or well, Michael Myers, it doesn't matter how how fast they are, they're always going to reach you. They're relentless. Like, uh, It Follows, if any of you guys have seen that movie, that's a pretty pretty popular horror movie. I imagine quite, quite a lot of you guys have seen that. That's uh, another really good one, though. It's kind of slow. A slow kind of horror. Okay, there's another person alive here. Okay. She's just, she's just so casual. I mean, I'd hope for something more than just someone just going on their phone. <laughs> I 
when you met someone during a zombie apocalypse. Maybe she's death. That would be very scary. Going for a zombie apocalypse being death. She can hear. <laughs> if anything, I'm pretty sure alcohol kind of dehydrates you, right? So. Understandable. Smart lady. Smart lady. She got partners. I was kind of thinking this might be the army. But, um... Oh, it's just a random van. Oh dear. Probably a good idea. Have some, yeah, just some random guy in there. I mean, probably a good idea to plan out something. <laughs> Don't get wrong, no, not in terms of the, not in terms of the bucket list, but in terms of again survival, water, food, canned food, long-lasting food. Some kind of defense, especially like a long range type of defense. Or just try and find somewhere impenetrable again, somewhere very high up, somewhere very low underground, or somewhere just massively kind of sealed off. There's plenty of uh, plenty of options and stuff available. Probably much safer driving cars though, than riding bikes. That that old zombie there is still holding on to his cane. And we saw the one in the opening still hold on to knives and stuff, which is interesting. Again, don't see too much of that. I mean they were <laughs> they were very frantic, weren't they? Oh dear. Oh dear. Again, I'm I'm super amazed that there's still broadcast going on. Enjoy your life. How ironic is that? I mean, again, I understand cow cold is okay, especially in small quantities, but it's just very ironic, is it not? The amount of lives that that drug ruins. Here's the bucket list. There are two ways of thinking about this, isn't there? There is the way that our main character is thinking about it now. It's just a great opportunity. And it is. It really is a great opportunity. 
but also on the on the other girl side of things kind of need to keep humanity alive if you know what i'm saying you need to kind of reproduce survive you can take care of humanity you don't want future generations which is going to be difficult to repopulate but you don't want us to and just fade out I'm already already got a lot. I imagine he's already knocked a fair few off his uh like rider Harley Davidson, like yeah, I imagine he's already knocked a fair few off. Well, let's hope you can, man. Let's hope we can. <clears throat> well, to be fair, the girl from last episode wasn't the woman of his dreams. It was his first first love, if you can call it that. I still don't really think it was an actual love. <laughs> but um, first woman he fancied, I guess. Yeah, he's still got still got plenty of time to meet a woman he loves, I guess. But again, will there be much opportunity? Answer no. Um, we did see at least one survivor being this girl. Another good thing here. Probably very good idea to stay fit. Uh, I, I personally always find running on treadmills quite a lot easier than in real life. Decent time, decent time. Fucking hell, she really is quite sorted, isn't she? Oh, she's she, again. She's pretty perfectly just summed up what I said about like the survival of humanity. This girl, it, it literally is the survival of humanity's future right here. Hundred things to stop her. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Is that not just an amazing coincidence? Hundred <laughs> hundred things to not become a zombie. Yeah. But yeah, checking up on radios and um, I don't know, like like freeways. I I forget radio stuff is uh beyond me. But checking for transmissions and stuff. <laughs> that was a movie. What a, what a terrible way to end a movie. Sometimes I like stuff like that, especially in comedy. But if an actual horror movie done that, I'd be pretty pissed. Spend 90 minutes following their survival just for some bullshit zombie to come out at the end like that. I don't know. If that was a reference, I don't know what it was referencing. Ooh, just got a fair few movies there. Yeah, I'm not sure what that would have been referencing, to be honest with you. No, bloody adverts. Oh, nice, still got that. Brain Hunter Z. Um, is that vampire, vampire hunt, vampire hunter Z? What I think it's called D. No. I think, 
like Bel- Vampire Blood Hunter D or something like that. I've never watched it. <laughs> it's an animated movie. Um, it was like World War Z reference, perhaps. Um, yeah, that's one on my list to watch, to be honest with you guys. Vampire Hunter, Blood Hunter D or whatever it's called. Um, I don't really recognise. No, I don't recognise any of them. Maybe they're like, maybe these are like big Japanese kind of uh, zombie movies. I don't actually think I've ever watched a Japanese zombie movie, so. Yeah, the reference probably lost on me there, perhaps. As I said, personally, I'd uh, I'd kind of hate that ending <laughs> to that movie she just watched. But as I've said throughout, you can't gain too much from the movies. Because they've all got different rules, they've all got different types of zombies and stuff. Again, I love the way that she's going about this. No, that is not necessary. But does everything need to be necessary? I think these guys could probably learn a little bit from each other, couldn't they? This was the lead up. Again, you'd like to say that you would do something similar to her. I'm not, not sure I would. But, um, not sure how successful it would be. But I'd like to. I'd like to be a bit of both, so the survivalist, but also have a little fun while the world is kind of free. That's why she was silent. Damn, she she heard that from far away. Well, I guess there's not much other noise going on, so. Other than the groans. Again, personally, the animation really hasn't suffered at all. Like I said, some people, I guess, are just worry warts. Made me worry. Again, that's the annoying thing. You get so many people. I think that's a, an issue today with society in general, isn't it? You get so many people to comment on something and say, oh, yeah, I'm worried about this. This could be bad, blah, blah, blah. You get people like me and just like the casuals worrying as well. They're fake information. Must be uh, weird for kind of movie companies that rely on mouth of word and such. Probably more than ever nowadays, they rely a lot on the the media kind of reaction to their movie and such. Must be tactics to kind of control the mind in that instance, I imagine. Nice, nice. 
Maybe you should have. <laughs> and I love the fact that it's like it's not even written down as well. It's on like a whole Microsoft document. <laughs> this list, which doesn't make much sense actually, because it probably probably is better written down. Probably is more accessible in a in a kind of rush or whatever. Talking about Steve in the Sunday. <laughs> There's always a, wor a worker in an office called Steve. <laughs> really upbeat and nice ending. I like the fact that both the opening and the ending in general are really quite upbeat, aren't they? But yeah, inevitably, it looks like these guys are going to come together and find a few more living humans as well. But, um, kind of inevitable, really, isn't it? The smart thing to do is to band together. Also, well, I say the smart thing to do is band together. Obviously, for her, it doesn't seem like a smart idea. <laughs> but, um, in a real life situation, always, uh, always got to use teamwork. Best friend of the dead. Again, I'm not sure if like the just the naming of this is just um a kind of reference to the Dawn of the Dead slash like Return of the Living. Uh, uh, this again, that's not by the same director, but um Dawn of the Dead, Return of the Dead, uh, stuff like that is uh, is just a reference to Romero movies. But um yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, really good, uh, really good second episode today. Like I said, was slightly worried, but again, that's uh, social media nowadays, isn't it? That gets you to someone has an opinion that they uh that they that they think and then people kind of band behind it and then it, again it gets to the kind of normal audience and again makes people like me worried so um yeah kind of worried over nothing animation looked really good today and uh, obviously there was quite a few more kind of shiny and outstanding uh per se shots last episode um but that's always going to happen for the first episode isn't it to kind of bring the the viewer in and um they put a lot of a uh, lot of money in that first episode but Again, wasn't uh, wasn't a downgrade or anything today. So it looked uh, looked absolutely great, didn't it? Uh, we meet a new character whose name I don't think we got. I'm not sure if we got it or not, but um, another survivor, which is good to see. We did meet another two survivors, but ended up uh, kind of dying, unfortunately. Um, I think maybe we calmed them down a bit too much. I think maybe that does show the kind of effect our main character has in a, in a negative way of uh, calming these guys down when it was a, a pretty dire situation with the zombies kind of banging on the door. Um, and they uh, they really cool down there, maybe cool down a bit too much. But yeah, nice to see uh, another survivor. Um, looks like we're going to have four survivors from the ending, and they're all kind of going to band together. So that should be a lot of fun. But um, she's not too much fun. <laughs> she, like I said, smart that she's not too much fun because this is how you like this is how you really get through this, isn't it? Um, very ironic that she's making a, a list of a hundred uh, hundred things as well. Um, almost like we're making a list of a hundred things we need to experience before we die um which could very much get us killed <laughs> whereas as is a, a list of uh, surviving of course but um yeah looking forward to seeing more of these guys in the future um obviously they didn't seem to have too much chemistry or anything today i'm not sure if there's going to be like a romance going on there or anything but um yeah the cool character really like her again i think a horror fan would really like her character a really kind of smart down to earth and a true kind of survivalist so looking forward to seeing more of her in the future i really hope she survives through this whole thing um but yeah let me know you guys thought about this episode down in the comment section make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys did like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these reactions i'll be back next week with episode three so i'll see you guys then enjoy the rest of your day guys